The United Arab Emirates capital of Abu Dhabi is a Persian Gulf oil boom town. Oil production turned it from a desert fishing village into a high-powered city of luxury. But now OPEC's fourth largest oil producer is turning its attention to sun, wind and hydrogen as part of an unprecedented plan to explore and develop future energy sources. Bruce Pesaki is an alternative fuels expert. He's also the author of World Inc. He joins us now from New York to talk about the why. So, Bruce, why would an oil-rich country go green? Well, Ralitza, this is the first of what I think is significant development in the oil-rich countries. Essentially, because of three things, we have no other choice. The pressure of climate change, the limited water and also the limited oil reserves and then finally because large companies are coming in and see a better market uh, but what about a, i perceive maybe i'm wrong but i perceive a conflict of interest this is a country that has grown rich on the basis of its oil reserves and what it's interested in selling its oil isn't it yes it is but um, in many ways uh, great wealth can allow great waste but it could also allow the leverage and the obligation to move the world into new markets. So if you think of uh, how this century, the last century, used energy, it's like a pizza pie with many different slices. Oil and fossil fuels were the largest slice. However, there was nuclear, biomass, regional power. I think what climate change is going to do is going to shift the size of the slices of that pie in many interesting ways. Just like last century, we had to switch from horsepower and steam towards fossil fuels. Now, now, now we'll shift again. But who would benefit from this worldwide? Which businesses, which governments, and, and uh, which businesses uh, wouldn't like this? I'm thinking Excellent. auto manufacturers. Yeah, in this, in this new world, uh, in the world that I describe in the book World Inc., already of the hundred largest companies in the world of uh, largest economies 51 of them are corporations like exxon mobil chevron on bp as opposed to nation states i think what's significant about this persian gulf development in the abu dhabi fields is that in uh, creating a union with large oil companies and a union with mit we see a shift that is both real and important and urgent to go from a petrochemical treadmill towards other sources of energy. There will be winners and losers. And in my new book, I talk about an S curve, where just like if you trace the S with your finger, some companies will be going up and some companies will be going down. So the great question for the next 10 years, and this show covers these sorts of trends, the great question is what types of companies will be going up and what types of companies will be going down. Clearly, automakers need to find alternative fuels than fossil fuel, and giant oil companies need to become energy companies that not only provide supplies in, of energy, many different kinds of supplies, but also the knowledge to the consumer on how to use it more efficiently. But what about conserving energy? We, we see in Abu Dhabi, in the UAE, we, we see uh, indoor uh, ski slopes. Uh, uh, as you mentioned, uh, uh, water is very expensive to be produced. A lot of luxury, which is uh, guzzling a lot of energy. Uh, isn't that also important? Yeah, in my new book, World Inc., one of the things that I'm finding is when entities like Goldman Sachs decide to invest a billion dollars in renewables, or when Persian nations or large oil companies begin to seriously invest in renewables, it's about changing the slices in the pizza pie for financial and market reasons. Uh, what's very clear is that the signals in the market are saying that a carbon tax is likely and therefore all these oil rich countries will begin to think of new ways to get towards frugality and efficiency in the use and production of power now it is true that with that comes a very serious change in society and that's why in the book i'm referring to it as the s frontier we are still just at the tip of the changing of these slices of the pie all right we will keep watching that pie and hopefully it will change for the better for all of us Thank you very much, Bruce Pasecki, author, World Inc. Thank you very much for joining us.
Well, energy...